Next question is from Point Blank Strength. Do smelling salts actually do anything physically to help you lift? I heard one power lifter say it opens up your sinuses for easier breathing, but is that accurate? Oh, do you, did you guys ever use smelling salts at all in your yeah. training? Yeah, yeah. and I, I picked this question because I actually had one of my best PRs of all time uh, bench pressing. I did uh, smelling salts right before that. And I don't know, it, it really, to me, it was more of a alertness like I've never had before. Like I was very, just like very clear. Everything was like around me. I was just very focused on just one thing. And so I could kind of, uh, I could kind of see the benefit to that to where I'm just literally I'm so present that everything was actually working in unison at once I don't know you know the science behind all that but I know it definitely I felt the effects of it yeah I discovered smelling salt so I knew that power lifters sniff something and yeah. then would do a lift didn't know what it was I knew boxers they used to use in boxing with the, you know the boxer goes in between rounds and then I saw that in Rocky right in Rocky uh, you know, Mickey gives them the smelling salts to wake them up or whatever. Right. But I'd never, ex I never tried them or anything. Right. So fast forward, I'm managing a 24 hour fitness. I'm probably 21 years old. So I'm young. And we had the first aid kit, uh, at the front desk. Every gym has one. And in the first aid kit, there are Smelling salts. Oh, really? Yeah, all I of them have it, right? I so didn't know that. If someone passes out, you could, you know, help wake them I up. I didn't know that those were in there. Yeah, and so the way they work, the way that those ones work is they're like these little packets and there's like a little- it's, You break it open, it's right? It's like a glass ampule inside yeah. and you just crush it yeah. and then, all right, so, and yeah, then you smell ammonia it. Ammonia or whatever comes Yeah, out. yeah, yeah, and you smell it. And so, um, let's see, Doug pulling up a picture of them. No. So anyway, so I, uh, I had these at the front desk. I saw that they were smelling salts. Didn't know what they were uh, or how they worked. And I thought, huh, there's like 15 in here. I'm just going <laughs> to take do one a out. Couple, yeah. I'm just going to take one out and see what it does, right? Right. And I had no idea. So I cracked it and I made the mistake of just going for a big, oh, oh, big huff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it mistake. knocked me on my ass. Good do. <laughs> I went back and went, oh. So then what I did is there's that CVS or whatever that's like two stores down from the, the 24 Fitness. Mm -hmm. I went in there and I bought. A bunch of smelling salts. I'm like, this is going to be the best thing of all time. I didn't time. know CVS carried that. <laughs> yeah, you can get them there. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. So I, I got what I would do <laughs> with my sales guys is when they were when they were on the phone making phone calls or whatever. When I noticed that they weren't making calls or they were lethargic, yeah, yeah. I would have one in my hand. I'd crack it and I'd put it right in front of their face. I don't wake yeah. them up and then they go, ah, oh, stop it. And we had this blast with smelling salts. So that was my experience with them. Then I never used them to lift. Until uh, later on, when I really, really got into heavy deadlifting and wanted mm -hmm. to see what I can go to. So I bought the same ones. And before I would do a heavy, heavy lift, I would sniff it and then I'd go and I'd lift the weight. And yes, anecdotally, it definitely worked. It definitely gave me a, a new sense of alertness. I felt like I can rip with more strength and all that stuff. And so anecdotally, they definitely work. Boxing now banned smelling salts. I don't know if you guys know this. Oh, I didn't know that. Because the belief was if someone has a concussion, then we don't want to like artificially wake them up and go get beat down more. Mm -hmm. So they banned smelling salts because they thought it would it would it would motivate fighters to keep going out mm -hmm. uh, even when they were hurt. Yeah, get more head trauma. Now the science behind them is interesting. It does irritate the the membranes in your nose and in your lungs, causing you to inhale and increase oxygen. Uh, intake, so it does give you that kind of, and it does stimulate a central nervous system response, so you do feel like you're kind of more awake. It also, the smelling salts also in, increase nitric oxide, believe it or not. Mm. Oh, really? There's this paradoxical paradoxical effect with smelling salts where it stimulates the central nervous system, but blood pressure drops because your blood vessels open up. Mm. Uh -huh. So for those reasons, yeah, it, it probably does help with your heavy lifts. But here's the thing. You don't want to overdo it. Unless you're, oh, a, yeah, if you're a competitive li you know, lifter, uh, it's fun. Go for it. If you're not, waste your time, waste your money. And don't play, Don't. it's not something to be played with. Yeah. If you've never taken a sniff of smelling salts, you are going to be in for a rude awakening. It can't be good long term. I've known some power lifters that like use it 
all the time, like almost in every workout session. And I'm like, dude, this cannot be good, uh, <laughs> you know, for for your health. Like uh, later on, I'm I'm sure like there's no studies out there. Well, yet. There's got to be some brain cells getting killed. Yeah, like a lot of brain cells. Like that. <laughs> hey, Doug, did I ever have you smelling salts when I trained you? Never, never did. Okay, so yeah. I'm glad I didn't do that to any of my clients. <laughs> yeah, let me check yeah. real quick. It yeah. definitely works. I mean, there's something to didn't it. Didn't I have you guys use it once? When we I, all I mean, we, I've yeah. used it plenty of times. I just thought it was. I thought it was like waking the CNS up. That's what I. I figured, yeah. I figured it just amplifies just, ah, it. Yeah, it, it's very temporary, but it really like kicks in. Right, almost like, uh, what is it, a post-activation potentiation or yeah. whatever it's almost called. Like getting slapped in the face. Yeah, yeah. yeah or getting slapped yeah. really quick. Kind of wakes you up. They do that too, yes. Right, I, I feel effect. like it's it's more like that. I didn't know that. The, I actually didn't know that it increases nitric oxide. Yeah, a little That's bit. That's interesting But to it's me. not enough to make a difference. So before everybody go buy a bunch of smelling salts for the new lift or whatever, it's it's not going to make a difference no. for you. But if, you, if you're a strength athlete and you compete. Yeah. User and beware. You need to practice. You Using them, yeah. Are they are they allowed to use it in a lift in a meet? Powerlifting, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so I see value in it for that person. You yeah, know, yeah. if you're yeah, if you're, you're competing, yeah, if you're competing and it gets you that extra five or ten pounds out. But I mean, I, for the average lifter who's just trying to get stronger, and, and I don't think it's beneficial muscle. for bodybuilders or people trying to connect. If anything, it'll probably prevent you from connecting to a muscle because. Your instinct when you smell it is just lift. Yeah, you're not like oh, it's I'm almost s-. fight or flight. Just bah, yeah, it's yeah. not like you smell it. and You're like I'm going to connect to my glutes more. It's like you yeah. smell it and you just <laughs> ah, you know, you go after Always it. Trying to connect to those but glutes. you do build up a tolerance. This is how this is to back up what you're saying, Justin. It's probably not good for you. I mean, they'll start with the little ampules of smelling salts. Next thing you know, they go to you know nose torque, and then the strongest <laughs> versions of I love like that nose torque. What a great name. Yeah, dude, and it's literally so strong that you open the bottle and you hold it like. Yeah, a foot or two from your face, and then do one of these with your hand. You kind of waft it in. Yeah, yeah. You can't like. Yeah. Oh my god! Have you smelled it right up your nose? Oh, yeah. You start unless bleeding unless you have a high tolerance. What is it? What is it? Ammonia? Or yeah, what? Is that ammonia salts? Yeah. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Oh wow! 